Another week, another Chainsaw Man chapter, and finally, after so long, we got the triumphant return of Chainsaw Man himself, Dennis. While this chapter is not as in-depth on character building like chapter 124 was, this chapter is a much more action-focused chapter. So let's just go ahead, let's dive into it because my god guys, Chainsaw Man is back baby! Let's get those likes and subs up! We, we gotta get Dennis a new hot tub! So starting out, the, the chapter starts with the falling devil on its own little shopping spree. With bag in hand, it is just going around, it's, it's plucking people's eyes and ears from the unsuspecting expecting people not affected by its ability and this is just so great because this is just a bit of dark humor that in my opinion chainsaw man has always been known for and and i just love it she counts 10 eyes four ears that leaves oh an apple <laughs> so the devil <laughs> then asks a human that is pinned to the ceiling by a way about what you know what is a good apple that pairs with human flesh as if this this human would would even understand that but all she is doing is just profusely apologizing to the devil like oh i'm sorry i i mean honestly if i was there that's i would be shitting my pants so whatever but uh which at the very least the falling devil actually doesn't mind that after all the falling devil does have manners it is not going to attack unless you attack it first you know besides the part with the ears and the eyes but you know what uh, we're not judging here at bento but honestly let's be real this is really how this scene should have went <laughs> this leads to <laughs> the devil humorously walking out of the store and like forgetting the recipe for, well, of course, the sauce because the sauce is important. So uh, what is what is uh, the recipe for the sauce again? Oh, uh, you know, a man's head. So it rather <laughs> innocently asks, could somebody spare me one? <laughs> This devil is hilarious, and seriously, actually, maybe he actually has no table manners. <laughs> uh, this is when men in black suits and sniper rifles, no doubt some kind of devil hunters, um, we're gonna talk about that later, open fire, literally shooting the falling devil into pieces, which is quite impressive for sniper rifles like that. I didn't even know that was possible. But I, then again, I don't even know what kind of guns those are. But though, as soon as they cease fire, the falling devil immediately repairs itself, pretty much. Just heals and proclaims it's impossible to kill it with any attack a human possesses. Now, pay attention here because this is a game changer. That means it will probably take at least another devil, fiend, or contracted human or fiend to basically kill the falling devil. There is no way that any conventional human weapons could do any sort of damage. So the thing to keep in mind is that this devil is just impervious to normal human conventional attacks that we would think would usually work. Then the falling devil proclaims it's desire to avoid meaningless slaughter and quickly is shot once more only for the devil to disintegrate the buildings the snipers were on and this just really shows how powerful this devil is when it can destroy reinforced concrete seemingly with ease Ugh. Dude, I cannot wait to see Mappa animate this moment. It should be freaking amazing. And as a man, as one of the the shooters is falling <laughs> The falling devil snatches it up and takes his head. <laughs> this really should not be funny, but it, it just is. Now, all that remains for the falling devil is for her goal, which is to have Asa fall. But as it says this, well, the chainsaw man revs up and pierces it through the chest. Oh my God. We then see this awesome visual of Dingy as the chainsaw man is basically like, kind of like stepping through or running through the falling devil as its intestines wrap around chainsaw man. Oh, and then, oh my God, this is so perfect. This is such a perfect Dennis moment. He calls the falling devil an apple thief, which is just so on point for dingy you really can't get better than that there is nothing in my opinion that screams oh this is something dingy would say then proclaiming the falling devil to be an apple thief of all things oh my god so then the falling devil proceeds to basically much <laughs> Just cut Dingy into pieces, which of course is par for the course for Dingy. He's always being just decapitated and split in half in however many ways. As the devil proclaims this though, it says, this is the first time I've been on the menu. <laughs> 
Bro, you cannot make this up. It's such a great chapter. Also, just a reminder to like the video and subscribe. Every bit helps as we're trying to get to five thousand subscribers on our, as I dub it, the March to 5,000. Now, back to the video. As for my overall review for this chapter, I mean, I'm just gonna be real. I thought this chapter was so good and it was very different from the last chapter. Also a pretty short one compared to the last one. There was a good healthy mix of dark humor, action, and some combat filled, of course, with gore. All things that Chainsaw Man pretty much excels at. The Falling Devil, in my opinion, has been one of the most effortlessly charismatic devils we have seen in the series thus far. I think it was a stroke of genius to include a devil like this, and it shows with how many memes you see the Falling Devil online now. I mean, it's, it's everywhere and it's hilarious. However, I think the star moment is of course Denji entering himself into the battle and entering himself uh, into the Falling Devil, if, if you wanna put it that way, as Chainsaw Man. I think this is the moment we've all been waiting for with part two, as I now have a theory on how this will go, and I think this battle in this moment is going to be a pretty pivotal moment for Chainsaw Man part two, one that's gonna be so so much more important than we ever thought initially getting into it. In my opinion, I think it's no mistake that Dingy appears right after the snipers are eliminated. I think what's going on here is that those snipers are probably devil hunters working for a new HQ, or you know, a new version of HQ at the very least. I'm not sure how this new HQ would even look like though, as Kobeni is obviously nowhere to be seen, and everyone else from the old team is pretty much dead. But as soon as I saw the black suits, I knew something was up because who else wears black suits than the professional devil hunters? As well, I wonder what this does for Asa and Dingy's relationship near the end of the battle. Will Asa now find out Dingy's true identity as the Chainsaw Man and how will that affect their relationship? I think at the very least, there's a possibility that the two having these abilities will probably bring them closer together. And at the very least as well, I think a factor to consider is Yoru as being the war devil. Would it either lead to praise for Chainsaw Man wanting to kill Chainsaw Man, or maybe considers the Chainsaw Man a comrade of some sort? We don't really have a clear idea of what this is going to be like. We have a little bit, but not, not really. And I mean, maybe if I'm right about this rebuilding of HQ, they could recruit Denji, Asa, Yoru, and, and even Nayuta to serve as kind of like the new skeleton crew. Either way, we all know for sure one thing, my friends, it's time for Dennis to cook. So let my boy, my man, Dennis Cook. I wanna ask, do you have any theories on how the next chapters are going to go? Let me know in the comments and drop a like and all that stuff and be sure to check out my review for chapter 124. Thanks for watching, Bye bye